Fenty Beauty Brow MVP, and I am so loving this, you guys. So one of my favorite watches, I'll leave a link down below. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Makeup Monday. I am here today with a very special video. So today is our two-year wedding anniversary, so I thought it would be fun to get ready with you guys for our dinner, and I honestly love the way that this entire look turned out. So you guys can see a little bit of my top right now, but I'm not gonna reveal it until the end of this video. Uh, so if you guys wanna see more videos like this, definitely give this video a thumbs up. I'm also gonna be playing around with some really pretty gingerbread makeup today. So I use the new Too Faced collection. I also have my Christmas tree up and it's just gonna be very holiday today and yeah I thought I would chit chat with you guys and get ready so if you guys want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching it is so exciting having my Christmas tree in the backdrop here and I've also got my Christmas mug so I'm just having my coffee right now I'm trying to gain a little bit more energy but um, yeah I'm really excited I'm gonna get ready with you guys uh, for our two-year wedding anniversary and I know I said that in one of my previous videos and I was just so excited. So we are finally here. I thought I would do a full tutorial get ready with me video for um, for Annie. So I'm really excited. I have like all of my Christmas themed makeup in this tray right here. So I'm gonna be playing around with the Too Faced Gingerbread Collection, which is so beautiful. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to start off first with lip balm. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Fresh Sugar lip balm. Let me know in the comments down below though. I'm very curious to know if you guys like my videos when they are more like upbeat and full energy or do you guys like when I'm a little bit more mellow in my videos because I feel like today is just a really chill mellow day and I never know if I should film on those days and some days I'm just full of energy and I've had like a few cups of coffee uh, so just let me know I definitely like doing a little bit of both on my channel it's just a little bit more realistic. That is good coffee. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go in with is the No Pore Blem Priming Water. So this is by Touch and Soul. And I got this actually as an Ipsy add-on. So I thought I would try it out. It's very liquidy. It's literally like water. Uh, so I'm gonna try this out. It doesn't smell like anything. I am literally so happy my Christmas tree is in the back. And if you guys haven't seen my uh, my video, I do have a full video of decorating the Christmas tree, which are like my favorite videos to watch. Um, wow, I'm really bright right now. With the uh, Christmas season coming around. So I know it's a little bit early, but I wanted to do it because I'm so excited for Christmas. Uh, so yeah, my skin is actually looking really good lately. I'm so happy because I have stuck to a really good like routine and I've been using products over and over that I love, mostly fresh, some Tatcha. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see a skincare video. I feel like I haven't done one in a while on my channel. Uh, and by the way, I just waved my hair a little bit. I think I'm gonna fix it up before obviously we go out for dinner, but I am liking how it's looking though. Uh, next, I'm gonna go in with the Pat McGrath Labs foundation. I keep getting asked what shade I am. So this is the shade light medium nine. I am actually gonna go up one shade because I find it's a little bit too light, uh, but this is the one that I'm loving. Like this foundation is flawless and I actually just bought a second bottle because I'm actually almost out of this one. So I'm just gonna use what's left and I'm just going in with the medium contour brush. I actually like using this brush for foundation. So I always say my brushes are super multi-use. You don't have to use them for what um, they're meant for. You can definitely use them for a lot of things. So I am just gonna pump what's left. There's not much left. I think this is the last day that I'm gonna be able to do a full face using this foundation. And I find I don't have to wear a lot of foundation when I apply this, like mostly in my nose area, but then I just spread it out and it's just so flawless. I'm so obsessed. I just wish it wasn't a hundred dollars. <laughs> it's expensive, but I think it's worth it. Just to show you guys what that looks like up close. See how it looks like skin? It's just such a beautiful foundation. It still covers really nicely, but I love it. I'm so obsessed. Can you guys believe I am filming a two-year wedding anniversary? 
it is so crazy to me how time has just gone by so fast and Mia and Sophia are celebrating their second Christmas this year. I just can't believe it. It's so crazy to me. So next I'm just going in with my infallible full wear concealer, which I love. I'm almost out of this as well. I've been using it up like crazy. Uh, so I definitely have to go get a second tube. And I was gonna buy a new one from uh, Sephora when they were having their sale, but I'm just so in love with this concealer and I honestly have not used a concealer that I've liked in such a long time. And for powder, I'm actually going in with one that I've been using for a long time. You guys know I'm obsessed with the Fenty Beauty. That's Max. <laughs> Um, but this is the one in banana, which is my favorite powder of all time. It's the pro filter I'm going in with one of my new brushes so excited for these to launch so gold party one of my favorite brush sets And I'm so excited. This gets so messy by the way. I uh, Need to be very careful. It's gonna get on everything, but it's an amazing powder. I'm obsessed I find too with this powder like it leaves my foundation uh, set in place all day long and I don't have to reapply and I used to have to reapply a lot like when I used to use like the peach perfect foundation and I just feel like this powder has made such a difference with my foundation so really happy about it I do have another color but I use this one a little bit more it has a little bit more color payoff okay so now for bronzer I am gonna go in with the new gingerbread one so this is called the gingerbread tan it's so cute and unfortunately I've already lost my gingerbread a little bit. It had like really cute little white buttons on it when I first got it, but I've been using it and it's just such a pretty bronzer. It comes on very natural and it looks darker than it comes on the skin. So I was really happy about that. This is like an everyday bronzer I can wear right now and the packaging is to die for. So Christmassy and I'm going in the, uh, with the angled blusher right here. I cannot talk today. And I kind of just blend it in so it's a little bit of a blush as well. It's just a really pretty color to warm up your skin. Another thing I've been loving is nose contour. So I'm going to use that same bronzer just down my nose. And I never used to do this all the time, but I've been doing it a lot lately. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go in a little bit on my brows. And I did get them micro shaded, I want to say two weeks ago, and they look amazing. I love the shape, but I usually just fill them in a little bit. And uh, the girl that does my brows, she's a good friend of mine, and she recommended this brow pencil. And it's the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP, and I am so loving this, you guys. It's better than the um, Brow Wiz by Anastasia. I like it way better. And it's super easy to fill them in now. So it has this neat little brush that I've never seen before. So that's what it looks like there. So I'm just gonna comb through them. Okay, so I just finished filling them in. That's what they look like. And if you guys have not tried that brow pencil, definitely check it out because it's amazing. Uh, so the two new palettes I have right here that are Christmas themed, I actually prefer the extra spicy. I think that it just has more of my colors uh, and I've already gotten into it, which it's so beautiful. I am so in love with this palette, you guys. Oh my goodness. And it's got little gingerbread on it. So for my eyes, I think I'm gonna still go in with something quite natural. Uh, but I want to do like a really beautiful gold sparkly eye So I'm gonna go in with this palette first and then add some sparkles after For the gram <laughs> So it's just a really nice crease color. I'm going in with right now. Just like a really nice warm And then I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is Candy Queen, and it's just like the most perfect gold. So pretty. And I'm just going to take this all over my lid. And I'm really attracted to this color right here, so I'm going to use this color a little bit just in uh, the crease as well. It's a really nice like pinky, pinky coral color. I feel like that color really softened the entire look. I am so in love with this palette, you guys. This is the perfect like Christmassy holiday palette and I feel like the colors are just very like gingerbread. So I definitely love this palette. I am gonna go in with sparkles on top, which I'm excited about. So I have the Anastasia. This is the Star Powder Loose Powder and it's just a pr really pretty gold. 
Uh, and then I also have a Pixie, which I've been using this a lot, the Pixie Sunray Liquid Light. So I'm gonna go in with this uh, just so the pigment sticks. So I'm gonna put this on my lips, lids first. Gets a little messy using glitter, but I'm excited. So pretty. You could just use this on its own, but I definitely wanted to add a little bit more sparkle. And by the way, I will show you guys my full outfit after and like the fun part, getting to pick out a handbag. At least that's my favorite part. So I'm just using the cap here. I'm gonna put the sparkles, the glitter on my eyes. Why did I not? Okay, I need to remind myself I'm using glitter to bake underneath my eyes so I don't have fallout. Silly me again, I did this last time. It sticks pretty well though. Love it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye. Okay, so the glitter is done and usually when I do like a gold eye, I almost always go in with the pink lips. So I don't know if I'm gonna do pink or nude, but probably pink. Uh, the one thing I did forget though, I have this little gimme brow, uh, little baby one that I got from Sephora. So I'm just gonna put this into my brows just to comb through the hairs. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna go in with is my liquid liner, which is this new one that I just bought um, from Sephora. So it's the Marc Jacobs and I love it. It's so easy to use and I got the black. So I'm just gonna use this as well. I'm such a liquid liner girl. I don't know, I haven't done a pencil like in a really, really long time and I just love the, the look of liquid. And I am gonna go in with quite bold lashes, so I usually go in with the liquid liner again after I do that. Uh, but I am gonna go in with this mascara, which is so pretty. It has jewels all over it, you guys. This one here. So the Better Than Sex is like my all-time favorite mascara, but this one is like blinged out. So pretty for the holidays. So that I would go in with this and finally open it because I was saving it for so long and I didn't open it, but I think it would look really cute with photos. Um, and I obviously, I ran out, so I had to had to open it it's just such an easy mascara if you guys are looking for like full length full volume I feel like it does it all really it's like the best mascara okay so I am gonna wait to do my bottom lashes after my entire makeup look I'll do that last because I don't want it to smudge uh, but we are almost done I'm gonna get my false lashes by the way I was gonna get a second tube of this the house of lashes glue it is so amazing but it was sold out on sephora if you guys have not tried this and you wear false lashes get this glue it is so much better than duo and i mean yeah it stays on they don't come off and it dries really quickly so i've been so impressed with this lash glue and then the lashes i'm going to put on are just the miami uh, by lily lashes so i actually bought a second pair so happy they're 40 dollars. they're quite expensive but they're the most beautiful lashes and i've been using mine i want to say for the last few months and i don't wear them often uh, but they definitely last a really long time so i'm very impressed with her lashes so i just had to go get my lashes they were actually by my bedside i wore them yesterday I was filming yesterday, so I'm gonna put them on, and oh, I love these lashes so much. I'm really liking how this look came out. But um, also, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the love you send my way on my channel. It just means so much to me, and uh, clearly you guys know that we've kind of celebrated our entire journey, really, of um, you know our wedding and engagement everything has been on my channel so it's nice that you guys can kind of be a part of that and obviously ryan is a very private person so i don't have him on here all the time he is in the vlogs sometimes but um i just like the fact that you guys are so connected to my family and so supportive and loving so i just want to say thank you it is so loud outside by the way we have so much going on so ryan's mowing the lawn right now we have our basement being renovated so there's a guy doing that as well we have his mom helping right now just because i needed to film two videos today and whenever i think it's not going to be a busy day it's a busy day so yeah and i'm getting ready for my black friday which is just crazy i can't believe we are almost in december 
I was actually gonna do a video of uh, what I plan on buying for Black Friday. Let me know if you guys wanna see that. We leave actually on our little mommy daddy trip. Uh, so I was gonna do it after when I get back, but there's a lot I plan on buying and like home stuff. Also, um, yeah, just lots of random stuff, I guess. So let me know if you wanna see that. So I've got my lashes on right now and I've probably worn these, I wanna say like over 20 times. That's why they're a little bit more dramatic, um, but I love them. They are so pretty and I actually have my lunch right now. Butternut squash soup, so yummy. I sometimes forget to eat in between filming and everything. So I thought I would have some lunch. The other thing that I forgot is blush. So I definitely wanna go in with blush and then, my lip and a little bit of highlight too. Okay, so the last thing is lipstick and I actually think I'm gonna go in with Angel, which I have not worn in a really, really, really long time. I usually go in with the Strip Search, which I just bought my second one from Sephora. I'm so happy about that. But this one is like the perfect pink. I used to wear this all the time. I used to talk about it in my videos all the time. So I'm gonna go in with this one and it's just a really gorgeous pink. There's not much left. And then on top, I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the Fenty Gloss Balm, which I love this. It's the most beautiful gloss. I usually wear it on top of like a nude, like a beige nude, but I'm gonna put a little bit on top of this just to darken it a little bit. I look so bright right now. The sun keeps coming in, so um, I am gonna do my outfit right now because I wanted to show you guys what I'll be wearing But as far as the makeup look I really like how it turned out So clearly I went full-on glam with the lashes But I really love these lashes and then I did a gold eye with a pink lip and a really nice bronze But yeah, I really love how this turned out. I am gonna go get my outfit and show you guys what I'm wearing Okay, so I was so excited for this portion of the video because I actually just had my first haul at House of CB. So I actually heard of this brand from a friend of mine and after I checked out their website, I was obsessed. I ordered two shirts to start off with, but I think I'm gonna get some other pieces because it's such nice high-end quality and it's so flattering when you, when you have it on. And I would wear this with like high-waisted jeans high-waisted skirt and it's just so cute. I love the sleeves. So this one here, I'll link it down below on the exact one I got. I also got a black one, so I wanted to show you guys what that looks like, but uh, it's made in Europe and it's just such a nice high-end quality. So I'm gonna wear this one. And then I also paired it up with my shoes. So you guys would have seen this from my birthday video that I did. So they're really pretty. They're Jeffrey Campbell. They're just really bling and beautiful and I love them. So I did get this one as well. I know it's very different than what I would have expected to get, but I loved the gold foil and the black. I just thought it looked beautiful and it also has the puffy sleeves. They're kind of known for that look, like a corset puffy sleeve kind of top and it's just really fitted to your body. So I'm really happy with these and uh, yeah, I plan on ordering more, but I wanted to show you what I got. Um, so yeah, this one's beautiful. I cannot wait to wear this one. I definitely wanted to wear pink uh, for our anniversary, but this is also a really gorgeous top. I think I'm gonna wear this uh, probably closer to Christmas time and it's just so holiday and festive. I love it. This is the box that it came in, which I'm actually using it as decor right now, but like, look how beautiful this box is. So I definitely plan on keeping it. I also loved how it had a bow. You could definitely like order something from them for Christmas time and like give it to someone as a gift. And it just comes pre-bowed in a really gorgeous box and it's so presentable. So I'm really happy and I'm so thankful that my friend showed me this brand because I'm literally obsessed. And it has a really nice gold foiling right there. And I'm gonna try on uh, my outfit and I'll show you guys what it looks like. And of course, I think I'm gonna pair it up with one of my watches. And I have this little case right here, which I love so much. And I think I'm gonna go in with my pink watch. I think it might really look nice with the top. So this one right here, this one would be the best. 
So this one is the Rose Gold in Blush by Vinciro. So one of my favorite watches. I'll leave a link down below um, with my coupon code as well. So if you guys want to use that to save some money. But I think this will go the best with my top that I have. And then I still haven't decided on bottom. So I have to find out if I'm wearing jeans or dress pants. And I actually have a very sentimental piece of jewelry right here. So if you guys remember this, I actually wore this bracelet on my wedding day right here. And I had it made by my friend that's in Vancouver, Elsa Corsi. And she did like a rose gold gem and silver. And it's just so beautiful. I love it so, so much. And I actually had the matching headpiece uh, for when we got married. So I just keep this out as decor. And I actually keep the headpiece right in here. So that was the headpiece that I wore on my wedding day and it looked so beautiful on. Oh my goodness, bringing back so many memories. Okay, so this is the finished look. I have the top on, which you can either wear it like with the shoulders up if you wanted to, which there's two ways you can wear this top, just like that, or have them hang, which I really do like them hanging. I think that looks really cute like that. And then I did go in with my guest jeans. I wasn't gonna wear jeans, but I think it just suits the top a little bit more. And then I went dressier on the shoes. Uh, I also put on like a little Swarovski ring. And then I have my Ventura watch. I am gonna just keep my hair wavy like this. I just think it looks really nice like that. And then the earrings that I put on right here, uh, these are actually from icing, so really cute. Here's a little bit of a closer look up at the earrings. I think they go really well with the rest of the jewelry that I paired out. I will also link down below the shoes. I get asked questions all the time on these, so I will link them. And they're just so comfortable as well. I can wear these all night long, so really happy I chose these ones out. I am all ready to go now, so that was the entire look. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I always have so much fun getting ready with you guys and just chit-chatting and getting ready for special occasions like this. I cannot believe it is our two year wedding anniversary. It's so exciting. So we are really looking forward to this and yeah, little date night. And like I said, I really love this outfit. This top is just so complimenting. I love the fit. So definitely check them out. I'll leave a link down below on my exact top. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Of course, I will see you guys on Fashion Friday.